Welcome to the Dr. Janine Show. Today I'm discussing increasing your libido, sex drive, and testosterone levels. And this is for the men and the women. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor. I want you to stay tuned right until the end of today's episode. It's gonna be exciting. There's a lot of new information about libido and sex drive. And I'm gonna be sharing a fantastic recipe, something that you can make at home to spice things up in your love life and with your your libido, but also I'll be sharing a meditation and we're going to guide you through to be able to increase your sexual energy and your libido. It's something you don't want to miss. So stay tuned right until the end. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Be sure that you're subscribed. Click that bell to turn on your notifications so you always get my newest and latest uploads. So let's get right to it. So what are the benefits of a healthy libido and sex life? Well, one of the things is that the research shows that it helps to lower our stress. So the more sexually active we are and the better our libido, this does decrease our stress levels. And we know that stress and disease are correlated. So we definitely, whenever we can be decreasing our stress, this is really good for our overall health and for our longevity. Another benefit of a healthy libido is better immunity. So this is important. Again, having a healthy sex life is great for your immune system. And the studies have proven this as well as well as having healthy a healthy heart so healthy cardiovascular function and one of the added benefits of a great sex life is that it is actually a workout so yes it is a form of exercise which is we know is great for our health as well it also is good for our blood pressure so that's important for cardiovascular health as well and having an orgasm actually helps with pain relief so all of those great endorphins that are released in an orgasm actually helps with decreasing pain. So also having good sleep is a side effect of having a healthy sex life and also improving women's bladder control. So this is part of, again, in women's health, something that isn't really always talked about, but having that healthy libido and sexual activity is really important for keeping all of our organs working as they should. So what are the 10 most common causes of low libido? So number one on the list for women, of course, is change in hormones and going through menopause when there's that now natural decrease in the female hormones, the estrogen and progesterone, this can really have an impact on a woman's libido. And it's something that definitely to find that balance with the hormones is something that all women certainly want to do. So number two, as a common cause of low libido is leptin resistance. So if you missed that show that I shared here on YouTube, be sure to check it out. So leptin resistance is all about setting up our body and our hormones for the entire day by having a certain routine in the morning, some of which we'll talk about in this episode. But if you missed that, make sure that you check out that whole episode on leptin resistance and why it's so important to get our leptin under control because really it is that master hormone that helps with our influx and outflux of all of our hormones system starting way up in the brain and in the eye. So that's really important to get that under control to ensure that all of our hormones are being secreted as they should, as well as lack of light. So that is, you know, goes hand in hand with the leptin resistance when we're lacking in enough of that healthy sunlight, especially first thing in the morning, then all of our hormones start to have an imbalance. And that's not what we want, especially when we're talking about our libido. Now, another cause is alcohol alcohol. So that if you're over indulging in alcohol, this could be another causative factor for a low libido, as well as certain drugs. So there are certain things that maybe you've experienced this. So whether it is an antidepressant such as the SSRIs, which are probably the most commonly prescribed antidepressants, and what they do is they decrease our dopamine levels and we need to have healthy dopamine. Yes, we are helping to increase the serotonin levels, but then this often sets the rest of our hormonal cascade and can have a negative impact on our libido and that's a common side effect for anybody who's taking antidepressants that you know that low libido is something that's very concerning for a lot of you and I know that so we have some tips as to how we can actually specifically help the SSRIs if you're taking them and helping your libido so that's coming up in our tips section as well as anti-seizure medications can lower the libido as well as opioids beta blockers 
sugars. So if you're taking something for your blood pressure, this can also decrease your libido. The birth control pill can also do this as well as prostate medications. So for an enlarged prostate, this would be and this is something I actually, you know, had a discussion with a family friend and he was asking me about, you know, he had some prostate concerns and, and he was taking the conventional drug for his prostate and he said the worst side effect is that his libido and his sexual energy was in the toilet. He could, you know, not have that proper sexual response and stamina and energy. So he asked me, okay, what, what do I do? This is crazy. So I had some great tips, some of which are in this video to help him because this is concerning if you're a guy and you know you're trying to keep your prostate healthy and the the side effect is that it lowers your libido then that's definitely not a situation that you want to be in so stay tuned right until the end when we get to the tips and I will help you in this department for sure as well as antihistamine so you let's say you've got some bad allergies yeah that antihistamine that you are getting at the drugstore can be lowering your libido as well so number five on the list of common causes of low libido is depression. So certainly if you are depressed, you certainly don't have your day-to-day -day energy and feeling good and you know enlightened about your life, then absolutely this will affect your libido. Because if you think about it from you know an evolutionary standpoint, when you've got a lot of stress in your life or maybe you know really low, low mood, then procreation probably isn't the top priority and your libido will not be where it should be. Number six on the list is illness. So certainly again, if you are not feeling well because, or you have the stress of an illness that you're going through, again, procreation and having a great libido isn't gonna be a high priority in terms of your own biology and your physiology. So that would be another cause for a low libido. Also being overweight would be another cause for low libido. And that could be, you know, just from the amount of weight that you may be holding holding on to and lack of energy, but also in the fact of, you know, if you have a lowered self-esteem because of your body weight and not feeling comfortable with being overweight, then that can affect your libido in a negative way as well. Number nine on the list is stress. So yes, if you have a stressed out life, there's a lot going on for you and, you know, procreation and having a healthy sex life isn't going to be a high priority that could be another big cause of your low libido and number 10 on the list is relationship issues so if there is you know some struggle in your relationship with your significant other there could be some resentment it could be trust issues and lack feeling of a lack of connection which can definitely happen in the midst of a relationship at any time that could be another cause from a mental emotional aspect in terms of that lack of libido that you may be suffering through. So if you're just tuning in, welcome in. I'm Dr. Janine Bowering. Today we're talking about increasing your libido, sex drive, and testosterone levels for both men and women and tips how to do this naturally and, you know, to be able to help in this department and, of course, doing it with the best of intentions to have a healthier sex life. So what would be some of the signs that you have a low libido? Well, one would be certainly low energy just in general, and of course a decreased desire for sexual activity. There could also be a decrease in the sexual fantasies or thoughts. And here's an interesting fact. So normally an adult will think about sex about eight times a day, and that's sort of the, the national standard now, it was interesting when they took a look at college males, so around 18-year-old guys in college, they would have an average of 340 sexual thoughts per day. So it helps to put things into perspective. But if you are, you know, not having any sexual thoughts or, you know, less than eight per day, then it could be a sign of that decreased libido. So now let's get right into the tips on how to increase libido. So I've got nine of them. So these are topping off my nine tips how to increase libido. So tip number one is to get a restful night's sleep. We all know how important sleep is for our overall health. But in think about it, if you're going to be having sexual activity and relations, you need some energy for that. Because remember, it is a workout as well. So getting that restful night's sleep is so, so 
so important to be able to have that healthy libido. Tip number two is to increase your sun exposure. So it's so interesting when you, if you've paid attention to my sun uh, video here on YouTube or maybe the leptin show, I keep coming back to the importance of the sun. And it's so important because the researchers have found that both UVA and UVB light from the sun not only helps to increase our vitamin D status, but the UVA is also important for increasing something called nitric oxide synthase and this is important because this helps with blood flow so it helps with blood flow in women to the pelvic area helps for women specifically so let's yeah ladies first let's talk about you first because we tend to always talk about the guys first when we're talking about libido and I know a lot of women are watching this program today so this is for you ladies so when we talk about nitric oxide synthase which is turned on by the UVA rays of the Sun so getting that natural Sun exposure is so important because what this does is it helps to improve and increase sexual function, helps with the orgasm, also helps to improve the blood flow to the sexual organs, and helps with lubrication. So that's really important in terms of getting that natural sunlight exposure. It's more than just the vitamin D. So, but vitamin D has also an impact on our nitric oxide, and it has been shown to help the guys with that blood flow as well, and helps with the erections in guys. So really important to get that natural sunlight exposure. So an interesting study was done in 1939 in which a scientist was looking at the UVB radiation. So this is what we get at noon time and this is what helps us to get a suntan um, and helps us to make our vitamin D. So UVA and UVB help with this but the UVB specifically helps to increase our vitamin D levels and what they actually were investigating was the testosterone levels in men. So what they did was they actually irradiated the male sex organs without any clothes on with UVB radiation. And they found that just after five days of exposure that the testosterone levels increased by 200% in the men that had that UVB radiation. So yeah, a lot of people, you know, <laughs> like to recommend going out there and exposing your parts to that sun. And this is true for women as well. So if you're brave enough to do it, then this is something that you can definitely venture out and try to do. So please don't get arrested when you try to expose your parts but <laughs> do it in a safe environment. There's actually bathing suits now that have been created. There's a, a UK company that creates bathing suits in which you are getting your sun's rays right through the bathing suit material. So I have one on order. I'll let you know how that goes. And if it, uh, if it works for me, we'll, <laughs> we'll see. So as well as supplements. So tip number three, is to in make sure that we are getting in the right nutrients to help with our libido. So top of the list, we know that sunlight exposure is the best for our vitamin D. However, in dark, cold winter months, depending on where you live, in relationship to the equator, so the further latitude you are away from the equator of the earth, the more vitamin D deficiency you are at risk for, and this could be decreasing your libido, especially in the winter time. So by taking a great vitamin D supplement, that's a great way to ensure your libido, but also for your immune system and for all the other reasons why we need our vitamin D. So check out my show on vitamin D and why it's so important to ensure that we have the proper levels every single day as well as DHA. So DHA is one of my most favorite supplements. Yes, we get DHA, docosahexaenoic acid, from fish oils. And fish oil, definitely if you're eating fish, you know, the smaller like sardines that have some natural DHA, the smaller the fish, the less the toxicity issue. Absolutely. But eating too much fatty fish is not something that I always recommend because of the toxicity. So next best thing is to get your DHA from a high quality fish oil supplement. And this is important for ensuring that that sunlight that we are getting from that natural sunlight exposure is actually now 
turning on our electrochemical reactions in our body and turning that solar light into the energy that we need to make sure that our mitochondria are functioning and producing our ATP. So it's really important that we have enough of that DHA every single day. So zinc is another favorite supplement as well for increasing libido. And do you know what the best food source of zinc is? If you saw our zinc show, then you saw that I talked about oysters. So oysters, again, are a natural source of zinc, but they also have the DHA, which I just discussed. So this is a great way if you're into oysters. I didn't think I would be. And most recently, you know, we <laughs> started to indulge in some fresh raw oysters at our home. I was so surprised that the kids actually love them too. My little trick is the lemon and some hot sauce on here and they go down so good and they're delicious. So fantastic for your libido and getting that fresh zinc, but also your DHA. There's also vitamin C in here. So loaded, it really is one of nature's superfoods to be able to get all of those nutrients, especially for your libido, because of course, raw oysters are known as an aphrodisiac. And why is that? It's because of all those nutrients that help with our sexual function, as well as vitamin A. So vitamin A is important in terms of of making sure that again that signal from the sun and what's happening in our eyes that that is translated into our brain and our brain can then have that proper cascade of all of our hormones in our body so really important for libido as well as well as selenium so that nutrient is really important for thyroid function but selenium is also known to be really important in terms of that chemical signaling in our body and helping with libido tip number four is herbal medicine so yes yeah, Yes, tips on how to increase our libido is what I'm talking about today. And tip number four is herbal medicine. So herbal medicines like salt palmetto is fantastic. It's really great for the guys, so helps with testosterone levels and helps to ensure that you're not breaking down your testosterone and forming something called DHT or dihydrotestosterone, which can offset men's hormones. It causes the prostate to enlarge, so not the healthiest situation. And salt palmetto is really great at decreasing that risk of developing that not so favorable DHT, the dihydrotestosterone. So maca is another herbal medicine, one of my favorites that is fantastic for libido. And this is something that was studied. And remember I said earlier at the beginning of the show talking about antidepressants and the SSRIs, the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, helping to increase serotonin levels, which is one of the feel good hormones. But in this double-blinded study specifically they were looking at helping people that were on the SSRIs for their depression and being able to take maca from Peru and having their libido improve significantly so this is great news to know that yes if you need to take your antidepressant and you do have that low libido as a side effect that now you can take something like maca which is proven in the literature to really help with your libido levels and again it's completely natural as well as lemon balm so lemon balm again is usually thought of as a herbal medicine for helping with sleep and anxiety and that's one of the ways that you know I I like to use the lemon balm and and did in, in my patients for years and years and what this study shows is that specifically for women which is so exciting that by taking the lemon balm again a natural herbal medicine it helped to increase sexual desire as well as arousal lubrication and orgasm and satisfaction in women who you know were taking this in terms of the study and here's the funniest thing that I think I've ever read in a, in a PubMed study that I've pulled off and have investigated is that the willingness to continue treatment was significantly higher in the group of women that were taking the herbal medicine compared to the placebo group well I wonder why <laughs> <laughs> they were feeling so good that, you know, yeah, they didn't want to stop the study. Of course not. Their libido was through the roof and they were feeling so much better. So that was, yeah, a little funny thing. And like I said, the funniest thing that I've ever seen <laughs> in the scientific literature in my life. Now, tip number five on how to increase libido is to make a great shake. And this libido enhancing shake is delicious. It's something that I love. And you can either add in 
some of the zinc as a supplement, as well as it contains some strawberries and some chocolate. So, you know, when you want to get that romance going, you can make a healthy shake. We're going to take a look at this now and, you know, enjoy. We'll come back in just a moment. So this is the Dr. J9 Libido Shake. So this is gonna shake things up, hopefully for your life and great for your libido. So first we have some milk. So this is almond milk, but really any type of milk that you desire. And a little bit of water. And I have some frozen strawberries. And what's better than strawberries and chocolate? So this is chocolate protein powder. It's a functional protein from our friends and sponsor at VitaTree. And now adding in some herbal medicines and some zinc. So first I'll put in our zinc supplement, which we know is fantastic for the libido, great for our testosterone levels as well. So adding that in, and this zinc has also a zinc ionophore quercetin, and that's why you see that bright color. That helps to ensure that that zinc is properly absorbed and utilized by the cells, as well as a little bit of copper to offset that zinc. And now I have some herbal medicine. So this is a women's formula and it contains maca. And maca is really good at helping the libido in both men and women. There are also men's formulas as well that contain maca and great for enhancing testosterone levels. And now blending this up. And this looks delicious so I can't wait to have this absolutely delish mmm smells so good already mmm so good enjoy So that is such a delicious shake. I can't wait to hear how much you love it. Please leave your comments below and it is something fantastic and helping with the libido as well is an added bonus. Now, tip number six is the dietary changes that you can make. So one of the best things, yes, we talked about the oysters. So if you can start to implement oysters into the diet is great. But one of the things to look out for is the polyunsaturated fatty acids. So too many of the cooking oils, the margarine, these are not healthy for your cell membranes. And if your cell membranes get rigid and clogged up, then they can no longer accept the nutrients in and they lack in the functionality. And this can have an impact on your overall health and a decrease in your libido. You've got to have those fluid cell membranes so that all of this energy can be transferred and all of the hormones also can be secreted as they should in the body. So really important to watch those PUFAs as they're called and increasing your healthy fats is always a great idea and more of the DHA of course. Tip number seven is to decrease the sugar. Yes, you want to <laughs> make sure you're getting your leptin resistance under control. So be sure to check out my other video if you've not yet seen it, the science of weight loss, leptin resistance and talking about, you know, why it's so important to watch the carbohydrates, getting that early morning sun is important as well to make Make sure that all your hormones are being secreted in the right way right from the beginning of the day when you first wake up in the morning. Tip number eight is to decrease the stress in your life. So your reaction to stress is what's so important and having some healthy outlets for stress is important for your libido but also for your overall feeling and your energy levels and being able to decrease that stress in natural ways is definitely something that you can do. Check out my other meditation videos here on YouTube and that's something that you can listen to binaural beats and just relax and get into the mode of healing and just letting all of those stresses of the day melt away which goes a long way to helping you to have more sexual energy and libido as well and talking about meditation my ninth tip tip number nine is meditation so now I'm gonna guide you through a meditation to help with your 
libido. So just like in my other episodes, I'm going to first ask you to get grounded and center by putting both of your feet on the floor. If you are lying down, that, that's great as well. Just make sure that you're in a safe and quiet environment for this meditation. And we're going to take a few deep breaths and closing our eyes and just centering in on our entire body and being connected to the earth and by grounding if you can visualize the energy first coming in through the top of your head from the universe and it's healing light healing energy going down through the midline of your body. So if you're aware of the chakras, from one chakra to the next, starting at the top of the head, and going down the seven chakras, and now connecting down your legs through the bottom of your feet, and visualize this energy connecting with the center of the Earth's core. Continuing to breathe. Breathing in. And breathing out. going to focus in on the second chakra. So this is where your sexual organs sit. And if you like, you can put one hand on the front of your lower abdomen. And if you can reach around, you don't need to do this, but your second hand on your lower back. Now you're going to focus your concentration, focusing your breath even to the area between your hands. And again, bringing in that light and that healing energy from the universe through the top of your head and down to this area between your hands. We're going to build a little bit of heat here. So imagine that this energy between your hands is starting to heat up. And wherever there is a blockage of energy, In this area, we're asking that it dissipates and transforms itself into positive energy and that pure light. And continuing to build that fire between your hands and your sexual organs. And now visualize this ball of healing energy and fire. Also now connecting with your heart. So opening your heart energy and then also connecting it with 
your brain function. So bringing that energy up and connecting it also now with your brain. And now bringing your hands back to a normal resting position wherever that is comfortable for you. Just feel what it feels like for this energy to be flowing now between the brain and open heart and your sexual organs. Turning on, waking up that libido. A few more deep breaths. Coming back into your present surroundings, giving thanks again for the healing. And when you're ready to gently open your eyes, And welcome back, everyone. So how is that for you? I can't wait to hear, <laughs> please leave your comments below. I can't wait to hear how this is working for you and helping with your libido, maybe with fertility, whatever your end game is here with wanting to help in terms of your sexual function and the way that you're feeling about your own life and your libido. And, you know, I would, I would love to hear about that. So thank you so much for sharing. If you learned something new today you love this video please give me a big thumbs up I truly appreciate it be sure to share this video with your friends as well and let them learn something new in the natural world about how to address things from a natural perspective and that's why I'm here and that's why I do all of these videos also if you're new here be sure that you subscribe and turn on that bell to get the notifications whenever I upload a new video and remember to always take care of your good health and to do it naturally. Thanks for joining me today.